What's up Raiders, Bionic here, welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. So many questions that I have regarding gear that you probably have as well. Today we're going to try and answer that, I'm going to give you guys a reference point which is my account after 20 months of gameplay as free to play, although it doesn't really matter whether you are free to play, pay to play, this is going to look at the quality of gear that you need for your core roster for the end game, and then it's going to hopefully help you decide whether or not you should keep all those extra pieces and then maybe you can actually clean up and get rid of all that extra gear. So what I did is that I selected, not selected, but I looked at my core champions that I use for Clan Boss, Tag Arena, uh, Classic Arena, and then the Dungeons, which is not that much, okay? So that now when I get a piece of gear, like let's say this right here, I can quickly analyze it and say, is this good on my account currently? Do I need this or should I get rid of this? All that being said, let's jump right in. All right, so first of all, what do I mean by end game account? Let's go over those stats first, and then you guys will better understand why I did this an analysis for you guys, and then hopefully it's, you know, gonna help you guys out, okay? So I'm currently in gold for Classic Arena, have been for a very, very long time, and then just, just last week, sorry, I made it to gold for Tag Arena, which is surprisingly not that hard anymore. I guess my sort of like defensive teams are somewhat paying off. And um, for the dungeons, though, I am or have been doing speed runs for a while now. This also has taken a lot of time for me to get there, but I thought I'd just quickly show my best times, a minute 27 for the ice column. So again, this is, we'll say, not ultra end game. I know some players have made it under a minute, but to be honest, be between like 45 seconds and like a minute and a half, even two minutes, it doesn't really bother me that much. I can still do all that end game content relatively fast. For the uh, Spider 20, I've had as low as 25 seconds, but the build that I'm using right now uh, allows me to minimize my roster. Therefore, uh, even if I get 45 seconds, I don't care. That's still fast enough, okay? As for the dragon, kind of the same thing here, 52 seconds, pretty reasonable. I um, made it under a minute, so that's you know, we'll say relatively impressive. As for the Fire Knight, a minute and six seconds, all right? I showed these teams before. They are all on my YouTube channel. You can go check them out. I'm not going to cover them in detail or more precisely their gear. So now that you guys know sort of where I'm at in the game, I can also quickly show you the clan boss. I typically do a three key ultra nightmare on the good days, unless of course I get the uh, spirit affinity a little bit too much, then it's going to be a four key ultra nightmare. Uh, every now and then I'm going to actually miss the clan boss because I didn't pay attention, maybe I missed a key. And then I can usually with the same team or the same core champions, one key nightmare. Okay, so it's a three key ultra nightmare, one key nightmare, which I think is pretty reasonable for uh, any account and in my case a free to play account okay so what I did for you guys is that I went and selected all my core champions and then I looked at all their gear I wanted to see you know just what was the level or the quality of gear of each of these pieces for all these champions I only looked at gear I did not do accessories yet maybe we can get to that eventually I also wanted to see if all of these were maxed out do you need maxed out gear everywhere, okay? Do you need legendary gear on all these champions? Or can you get away with perhaps rare pieces, uncommon pieces? What about common pieces? Can you literally use common pieces of gear in the end game? So that is the uh, thing that I tried to answer for you guys today. But first, before I get started with the spreadsheet, uh, I do want to point out that I am doing pretty well for the Great Hall. I'm also in Gold 4, so this is affecting my stats overall, making the rest of the content that much easier. Still, this you build over time. The quality of gear though did not really change for like the last six months for me. I get an upgrade here and there once in a while, but I'm being super picky with what I decide to upgrade or not because I'm always very limited by silver as you are as well probably so if anything this is going to help you save a lot of silver at the same time anyway all that being said here is the breakdown of my core roster and let me quickly explain how this works first of all i looked at the four core sort of like aspects of the game that i do every day clan boss tag arena arena and dungeons then I looked at all my core champions for each of these uh, category, okay? So I have six champions that I use for all my clan boss needs currently. I do have the seventh in there, it's Martyr, but I don't 
really use her. I can sometimes get slightly better damage, but like most of the time it's not, okay? So six total champions for that. And then for the Tag Arena, I have a total of 12, but I'm reusing a Rosin as is that I'm using for the Clan Boss. Therefore, I'm going to say that this is only 11 other different champions. As for the Arena, I said zero because I'm literally reusing the four champions that I'm using for Tag Arena. Pretty straightforward. Then I did the same thing with the dungeons. Instead of saying I have 11 different champions, I actually have nine extra champions on top of the core ones that I have. For a total of 26 champions or so uh, that I use for all my needs on a daily basis okay faction wars like i said is totally different i'll cover that separately in a different video eventually and then here's the breakdown of the gear okay and so what we're looking at here is first of all the uh, no number of common five star pieces uncommon five star rare five star six star epic five star six star legend five star six star you kind of get the point here so i do have a couple common pieces that i use in the end game that means that the gear that i farmed last year from the brutal campaign is literally being used today on like a war maiden for my end game needs all right so do not underestimate the value of even these pieces right here okay if we go back to the spreadsheet you'll see that i do also have a couple of uncommon pieces uh some of my cold hearts actually have that still okay so again this was farmed through the brutal campaign last year as i was just trying to find the right main stat like crit damage gloves on crit rate pieces that is huge in the beginning I found myself farming this a lot just to boost up my stats to get enough crit rate. Another great example is my Royal Guard, who's been built like this forever, never changed. Okay, so here again, a common piece that could have easily been farmed from the Brutal Campaign. So again, do not underestimate this. Then we go into the rare pieces, which we have a lot of five star and epic five star. Okay, so the bulk of my gear comes from rare five star and epic five star. That's not really surprising. Then we have uh, six star pieces, uh, rare a couple, almost the same as the epic six star pieces. And then we actually are starting to get a couple legendary pieces. Okay, so here's the pie chart. If we look at, let's say, the uh, all the gear before the legendary pieces, it accounts for about 67%, I think, of the gear that I currently use on my core roster of champions that is not legendary. All right. So now when I look at this and I get, let's say, a new piece from a dungeon, I can be very selective in the sense that if it's not an upgrade because it doesn't have the perfect substat roles for one of my core champions, chances are it's going to be useless, okay? Uh, gearing all of your Faction Wars champions might become handy in the long run, but for now, if you're just trying to complete them and get Lydia, um, I'm going to say that, you know, probably three, 400 pieces of these gear pieces right here are completely useless, right? If I, let's say, double my roster for Faction Wars, I'm only needing roughly another 160 pieces total. So clearly, on here is a lot of useless stuff. That means a lot of silver, and that means also a lot of confusion. So that when you go down this list of what do I need, um, aside from getting the right main stat and getting the right set, I get that that is a little bit harder to do. So you want to keep some extra pieces just in case. I can now be, like I said, more selective. Just go in here and be like, does this look an, like an upgrade on any of my current champions? No. Upgrade it to eight during an artifact enhancement event and then just get rid of it, right? I think it's as straightforward as that. And I'm really hoping that by showing you guys sort of like my end game roster with the current quality of gear that I have will give you guys a good reference point, right? A great reference point for you guys to decide if um, you need better or not. So for me going forward now, it's literally going to be just that. I'm looking for legendary five star and six star because I know that this is already enough. So I I got to stop focusing on this type of gear if I want to actually increase my overall stats. Um, so anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this. Is it maybe, you know, a little bit exaggerated in the sense that uh, you guys think you'll need a lot more gear than this? Uh, or do you think maybe I'm, I'm lucky because I'm getting away with some like crappier gear when instead I should be getting or I should have a lot better gear to compensate for the fact that maybe you guys are not uh, as advanced for the Great Hall, right? Maybe you are not as end game as I am, therefore you need better quality of gear to now compete in today's 
arena in today's world of raid last year was very different this gear allowed me to progress to the point that i am now which allowed me to increase this great haul but for you guys it might be different right the game might be harder now therefore you might believe you need much better gear in order to simply progress still um i think that it gives you guys a great reference point and i would love to have your thoughts on the subject so do let me know what you think in the comments below as always thank you so much for watching and i will catch you later